address a couple of things about my morning routine. Um, one thing, one pretty obvious thing, probably didn't see me eating breakfast. I'm not a morning person. I don't get hungry until about midday, so most days I don't go with breakfast. Not that I recommend it, <laughs> highly recommend it, <laughs> but it's just the way I am. Another thing, you've probably seen the way I'm dressed. I've even got my Nike sneakers on. Now the firm introduced a really good policy where you dress for your day. So if you're not seeing a client or you don't need to go onto client site, you can wear pretty much whatever you want. So most days I'm dressed pretty casual like this. Um, I haven't tried showing up in trackies yet, but it's on the agenda. <laughs> and lastly, yes, I'm walking. I walk to the train station where I catch a train. It's about a 15, 20 minute walk. Now, I really enjoy it as I'm not, I'm not a morning person. I don't wake up and say, yay, work. Not by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, anyone who does is probably lying to you, but I feel like this walk tends to relieve a lot of the negative energy that I wake up with. And as a consultant, you do a lot of sitting down behind a desk. So getting as many steps in whenever you can is ideal. See you soon. So after about an hour and 10 minutes, we've arrived at the office. The first port of call, check your emails. Our directors and partners tend to have this habit of not sleeping during the night. So you get in here in the morning, check your emails, and that tends to set the tone for the day. So depending on the number of angry emails you've got in your inbox, that'll give you a good idea of how bad your day's gonna be. What I like to do is get into the office around 8, 8.15. So that gives me about 45 minutes before my first meeting to just, you know, just get into my own groove, check the emails, get do what I need to do before the meeting. I even have time to go for a walk. I mean, we've got a really nice view out here. So you can go for a nice casual walk and really just glide into your day. And Just like that, our emails are done for the day. I mean, I did pick a pretty light day to film this video. I mean, if I had back-to-back -back meetings, you wouldn't be able to see much as me going in and out of meetings. Um, so yeah, what we do usually most days um, with the project team is we have a daily stand-up. Now this is a short 10 to 15 minute session where you discuss what you did yesterday, what you plan to do today, and anything that you need help with before you get started. Let's head to the stand-up. <laughs> And that's really it for the stand-up guys. It's really short, it's really sharp, really engaging. You can run through issues right then and there. Now, we're pretty much set for today. We've got the tasks that we need to complete for today. All we need to do is make our way back to the room and get started. <laughs> Now the reality is we spend a lot of our time just like you saw behind a computer. Once we've got a task to do and we know how to do it, you just get it done, whatever it takes. I'm not gonna bore you by showing you the same clip over and over again. I'll try to keep it as interesting as possible. But yeah, it's literally, you sit here, do your work. When you've got a meeting to go to, you get up, go to your meeting, come back. If you need to go to a client, go out, go to the client. You may work from there or you may come back. It just really depends on what you're team prefers to do and what you prefer to do and really how f however flexible you can be you flex and yeah you get on with it quick update guys it's been about 90 minutes of work and i've got the opportunity to go for a walk now so what i like to do is if 
I do get the chance, go outside, get some fresh air, stretch my legs. That's what we're going to do right now. Back to meetings, back to work, till about lunchtime, so I've got about an hour and a half. I'll check in with you guys later. Just before midday, I'm tired, I'm hungry. Remember, didn't have breakfast, time to get lunch. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! So, back from lunch, and I'm quickly realizing that there isn't really much more that I can show you outside of more meetings, and I can't really reveal what kind of things are said in there because a lot of it is protected client information. So, Instead of boring you guys with the same content, I thought, why not give you a quick pros and cons of the job? And I'll be really brief and really concise with it. And if you want more of a more of a deep dive into this discussion, I can do that for you. So as you all would have gathered, I'm a consultant and I've been so for about just over four years now. And I've previously worked for EY and currently at PwC. So what I'm about to tell you is applicable across the board. For those of you who don't know what a consultant is, we're essentially problem solvers. Our clients can be either public or private organizations and they come to us with both good and bad problems. An example of a good problem is one client is growing faster than expected and they come to us for advice to make sure that everything else in their organization is structured securely and they are actually prepared to take on this accelerated levels of growth. An example of a bad problem, one of our clients might have merged with another and they are hemorrhaging or bleeding costs in a particular department and they come to us for advice as to how they can, you know, plug some of these holes and remedy remedy the bleeding. So yeah, as consultants, we've got our toolkit with answers to a lot of the problems that our clients have. If we don't have an answer, we best believe we need to come up with an answer that our clients need to like and that is all part of the fun. So I'll go through some of the pros of the job um, and then quickly touch on some of the cons and just wrap up this video because I don't want it to go on for too long. I definitely have to say the biggest pro of this job is the exposure to the different industries that you get. In my time as a consultant, I've been exposed to a plethora of industries from government to banking to wealth and asset management, to utilities and mining, to telco, to retail, and the list actually does go on. Now, for most people with a similar amount of experience as I do, they've probably been exposed to one or two industries at best. One of the really big advantages of working in a consultancy is the exposure that you do get and you get to learn about so many different industries and how, how the structures differ. Every industry has its unique problems but there is also a really significant overlap. So the more industries you cover, the more the picture that you've actually got. So if you've got 80-90% of the picture loaded already, then your problem solving toolkit will take you very far. The other somewhat follow-on advantage to this is because you've had exposure to all these industries and you want to move out of consulting in the future, you've seen a lot of the problems that they have, you've seen what the what the workers in those industries experience and, and you're in a good position to make a choice as to which industry you'd be most suited to. The second pro of consulting I would say would be the exposure to very senior stakeholders. Now, when they say you get thrown into the deep end from day one, you literally do get thrown into the deep end. And if you show the capability to do so, they will put you in front of CIOs, very senior GMs, and people that are really you know, guarded from junior resources and other organizations early on. This will help you develop a range of skills from your, from your speaking to your analytical to your problem solving skills, because senior people have been around for a long time, they've seen a lot of problems, they've seen a lot of answers, and they will challenge you to bring them something that, you know, is up to is up to their standards. So being exposed to these people is a really good advantage for you early on in your career. The third pro I would say would be the consulting world gives you a 
platform that will allow for accelerated growth in your career. Now, when they say you've got a fire underneath you constantly, that is true. You have to work hard, you're made to earn your little dollars, uh, but at the end of the day, the advantage of this is people everywhere know that you've done your time at this consultancy, they know what you've what kind of projects you've done, what kind of people you've reported into, and they know that you've been tried and tested and proven, so it'll make it easier to make moves later on in life, and it also makes you very attractive to future employers. The final pro, which can also be a con, and I'll touch on that later, is flexibility and autonomy. So you are afforded a lot of flexibility in your role, and a lot of that is predominantly because all you need is a laptop to do your work, and you can work from anywhere. So in the case where you might need to work from home one day, you can literally, you are not impeded at all. Um, so you've got your laptop, you've got contact to the people you need contact to, you can just pick up a phone and call them. Um, so yeah, it gives you a lot of flexibility on that front. Now onto the cons of the role, and the first one would have to be the highly political environment. Now I cannot stress how political this place can be. It is exhausting, not just for some, but for everyone, and there is no choice but to play the game, otherwise you will not survive. You could be having a coffee with somebody, having a very pleasant conversation, and then an hour later you've found out a person has thrown you under a bus and spoken to the boss and said you've done X, Y, and Z, and you're like, hang on, weren't we just best friends just like 10 minutes ago? This is exactly how it works around here, and you need to make sure that you are one step ahead of the game. And my advice for people who actually want to work in consulting and want to succeed, you need to be a snake. It, it is a game and nobody can sit on the sidelines and if you don't want to play, do not, do not go near a role in consulting. The second con would have to be the long hours and this is, this is a given and a lot of people would know about it, but yeah, there are days where you're working 15, 16 hours a day and this can go on for significant periods of time. I mean, I've left the office at 2am one night and yeah, it's all part of the job. You can complain about it. It'll fall on deaf ears. Nobody cares. You just have to do it. And there is a misconception that consultants do get paid well, but mind you, there is no overtime. So once it ticks over 5.15 or 5.30 or wherever, or whenever your contracted hours end, you don't get paid. And the number of times you leave at 5.15 or 5.30 are <laughs> close to zero. So when you do average out the number of hours you work against your pay, it's, yeah, it's not so great. The third con, and the thing I mentioned earlier about flexibility, is also, it comes to your detriment because when all you need is a laptop to do your work, your bosses know that, they will call you at midnight and say, Yusuf, I need this done by tomorrow morning, get it done. No excuses, I've given you all the information. So you get out your laptop in bed and you whip up whatever it is they need and yeah because you can work from anywhere you will work from anywhere <laughs> the fourth and final con I'd say is it's very easy to lose track of yourself in an organization like this and lose track of your career and where it's headed simply because there's two and a half thousand others and everyone is trying to grow everyone is trying to get onto the same project that you want to get on and at the end of the day not everybody can win every single time. If by nature you're not a loud person, if by nature you're not very expressive and you're quiet and you're reserved, you will get lost. People will forget about you because everyone's got their own problems and there will come a point in the future where you realize, hey, I'm actually doing circles. I'm not making the kind of progress I set out to make. Maybe I'm not in the right team. Maybe I'm not at the right organization. You have this epiphany and you say, hey, I need to press that reset button and, and that does happen a lot in organizations as big as this. And now for some more workshops and meetings and emails and all that fun stuff. Oh. Just like that, we're done for the day. Let's head out. I don't like staying back a minute later than I need to. So yeah, let's get out of here.
And that's a wrap. I hope you guys enjoyed the day. If you did, let me know. Give this video a thumbs up, share it around. If you know anyone who's looking to get into the consulting field, share this video with them. If you have any questions, leave them for me down below. And yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.